Hi. We start off this course by discussing legislation. So the laws that pertain to the safe operation and use of lift trucks here in Canada. Common components of a typical rider sit-down style lift truck are forks, backrest, carriage, mast. The balance point we tip on when overloaded is called our fulcrum point. If the force of the load on our forks is greater than the force on the machine's counterweight, we begin to tip forward. The further away your load center is from the heel of your forks, the less weight the machine can lift without tipping forward. Always try and butt your load all the way to the heel of your forks. The stability shape of a lift truck begins with a stability triangle. The three points of this triangle are made up of one point in the center of each of the front tires and one point at the pivot pin in the center of the rear axle. The pivot pin of the rear axle is what creates the triangular stability shape and not a rectangular stability shape like that found on a typical car or truck. From these three points of the stability triangle, we build up a stability pyramid with a peak that sits just above the full reach of the mast. As you walk up to the machine, check for any leaks on the ground. Make sure tires have no serious damage or cuts on the tread or sidewalls. Inspect rims, confirming lug nuts are tight and all in place. Check over your ROPs and FOPs, looking for any damage or dents. Welds should be free from cracks and rust. Close service valve while running the machine to depressurize the line, and then turn off the key. Unscrew coupler. Unclamp brackets. Remove the tank and replace with a new one, making sure to line up the new tank with the locator pin. Reclamp the brackets. Confirm the tank does not protrude beyond the sides or back of the machine. Always use three points of contact when mounting and exiting the machine, making sure that the mounting steps are free from grease, oil, mud, snow, or anything slippery. If not, clean them immediately. Okay, if they're messy or dirty and you could slip and hurt yourself, clean them immediately. It'll keep your teeth in your mouth and you a whole lot safer. Try and travel with your forks and load at three to six inches off the ground. When traveling on rough terrain, try and keep them 12 to 16 inches off the ground. Depending on the situation or conditions, you may need to place your fork slightly higher or lower than these guidelines. When traveling up or down a grade with a load, the forks must always be pointed up grade. When traveling up or down a grade without a load, the forks must always be pointed down grade. The Class 3 Walkie Rider lift trucks are a bit of an exception to the rules. When traveling on a grade or ramp with a Class 3, you want to make sure you point the forks down the slope with yourself uphill from the machine. If for some reason you must travel with the forks pointed uphill, make sure to hold the handle with one hand and keep yourself far to the side of the machine to avoid any chance of being run over. When loading or unloading a rack with a Class 2 narrow aisle forklift, extend the scissors only after you are stopped and completely retract them before moving again. If the dock is equipped with a vehicle restraint device, that it is locked in place. Always make sure to check that a trailer is still attached to a truck before entering the trailer with a forklift. If the truck is missing, you can tip the trailer. When having to load or unload a detached trailer, always install a trailer jack stand in place before entering the trailer. 